Glory, hallelujah, with another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne who still perform miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. And he is so worthy. And he is so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, my sisters. I don't know about you, my brothers. But I can't do it without Jesus. No, I can't. I can't make it without Jesus. I can't think without Jesus. I can't comprehend without Jesus. I don't know if I'm coming or going without Jesus. I don't know how to move and operate my mind, my body, my soul, my spirit without Jesus. So that's why I always depend on him. That's why I always count on him. That's why I rely on him because he is my everything. He is my helper. He is my healer. He is my provider. He is my protector. He is my savior. He is my first love. He is my everything. He is Jehovah, Jared, Jehovah, Nisa, Jehovah, El Shaddai. He is my my everything. If Jesus not your everything, something is completely wrong with you, my brothers and sisters. Jesus should be everyone's everything. And if he's not, you need to get your life and your priority in order right now. You need to check yourself right now today. I'm just keeping it real with you. Jesus should always be your everything. Not your secondary, not your thirdary, but your everything. You should always put him first place over everything in your life for another day. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. It doesn't matter what you're facing right now. Jesus wants to hear from you right now today. And if you have not spoken to the Lord right now today, wherever you at right now today, you need to take a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, how long it takes. You need to spend time with Jesus right now. Open up your heart to him right now today. We all going through something. We all facing something right now. Every day going to be a good day. But the Lord is good all the time and all the time. He is good. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, glory, hallelujah, he still sits on the throne. And he still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. And he is so worthy. Yes, he is. He is so worthy to be praised. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. Please return back to your first love. He's available, and he's waiting on you with his arms open wide. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Giving you all thanks, giving you all praise, giving you all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you're ordering our steps. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for your guidance and your direction. We thank you, Father God, that we can always talk to you about everything, that we can always spend time with you, Father God, that we can open up our heart to you, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love. We thank you, Father God, for your patience. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing now. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're working behind the scene. We thank you, Father God, how you're setting and preparing the stage for us right now. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing that we're going to receive this season, the breakthrough that we're going to receive this season, the miracle that we're going to receive this season, the more than enough that we're going to receive this season, the overflow that we're going to receive this season. We thank you, Father God, how you open up doors for us, Father God, in this season. We thank you, Father God, for the right connection and the right resources, Father God, in this season. We thank you, Father God, for the rain that's going to rain down on our harvest this year in our season. We thank you, Father God, 
for this word everybody received, this powerful message right now today, Father God. That's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Father God, that we're ready to be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, thanking you, praising you, glorifying you, and magnify your name, Father God. Oh, Father God, we pour our heart out to you each and every day. We trust you each and every day, Father God. We put our hope in you every day, Father God. Father God, even though we might not see anything happening, Father God, but we know for a fact that you're working behind the scenes. Father God, we know that you're putting everything together. Father God, we know that you are lining things up. Father God, allow your love to move through this place. Allow your presence to move through this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, you continue to anoint us right now today, Father God. Father God, I'm asking you to continue to fill our cup up right now today, Father God, that it continue to overflow, Father God. Oh, Father God, this is your time. This is your moment that I know for a fact that you're about to show up that I know for a fact that you're about to show out. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I believe and I declare, I decree right now today, Father God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to get their life over to you right now today, Father God, and the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now today. And you will and you shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. Now you're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord, right here in your sanctuary right now, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today in your holy precious mighty name for you to do a new thing in my brother's and my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm praying, I'm asking your name right now today, Father God, to touch my brothers and sisters right now. Touch their heart right now today, Father God. Open their eyes so they can see. Open their ears so they can hear. Heavenly Father God, I am praying and I'm Believe and I'm asking your name, Father God, for a blessing, a huge blessing, a financial blessing, something for something that you're gonna turn their life around right now today for my brothers and sisters. I'm praying, I'm asking your name right now today, Father God, for a miracle for my brothers and sisters, for a breakthrough for my brothers and sisters. I'm praying, I'm asking your name right now today, Father God, to turn turn their trouble around, Father God, for my brothers and sisters, Father God. Father God, you know how hard, you know how long they've been in that situation, Father God. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to lift them up right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to relocate them right now. Father God, I'm praying. I'm believing, Father God, for healing for my brothers and sisters. I'm praying right now today, Father God, in your name right now today, God, that you restore everything to my brother and sister that the enemy have taken and what the enemy has stolen from my brother and sisters. I'm praying right now today, God, and I'm asking, Father God, for you to move supernaturally in my brothers and my sisters' life right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, it's not too hard for you. Oh, Father God, it's not too difficult for you, Father God. And Father God, we know that you are doing it right now, God. We're standing on your words right now. We're standing on your promises right now. And Father God, we claim it right now. We receive it right now, Father God, because we know by your words it's already done. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in this sanctuary, right here on this YouTube channel, right on this platform. Right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are confident. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire through the sermon, through this service right now today. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sin today, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow right now. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Thank you, Father God, for understanding. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, something that's always in my mind about you, something that stays in my spirit about you, it's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you, and that's got to take I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pour my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you and glorify and magnify your name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 
And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory, hallelujah. The Lord spoke this word to me this morning. He said, be on the lookout and don't be surprised. Their ex-friend is making his way back to you. Their ex-boyfriend is making his way back to you. Their ex-girlfriend is making her way back to you. Their ex-husband, their ex-wife, their ex-fiance, they are making their way back to you. I guess they didn't read the Bible verse, Isaiah 54, verse 17. I don't think they really read it correctly. When it said, no weapon formed against you should not prosper. I think they just looked at it. I guess, I guess somebody just spoke it to them, and I don't think they really realized what the word was saying. They formed a weapon on you, but I don't think they understand what they formed you. It was not going to work. I don't, think they under, I don't think they read the scripture when it said in Isaiah 40, verse 8, that the, that the grass will wither and the flower should fade, that the grass is not green on the other side. They saw the grass, but they, they are the representative of the grab because they saw something that looked good. They thought something that was real. They thought something that was going to be everlasting. But when they went over there, they jumped over there, they realized what they thought was real. It was only a mirage. What they thought was going to last for a long time only lasted a short period of time. And I don't think they understood what the word was saying. The grass not green on the other side. It faded the moment they went over there. It withered the way the moment they went over there. So now as the grass has withered and the flower has faded and they whipped and they formed them, you didn't work out. It didn't prosper. Now they're trying to come back because now they realize what they did. Now they realize you was the one. Now they realize you was the gem. They realize that you was the diamond. They realize that they fumbled a bag. So now they finna come back with this with this sad story. Now they finna come out with the with the dog cry tears. But my grandma always say, if you didn't like me then, you ain't going to like me now. If I wasn't worth your time then, you ain't worth my time now. If you didn't love me for who I was then, you ain't going to love me now. So you need to go back where you came from and you need to stay over there because that's what you say that you was happy at. That's what you say uh, that what you say that you was getting it on at. That's what you say that you was better at. And that's how you felt about me then. You feel about that towards me right now. I ain't nobody fool and we ain't about to go back and forth with this situation right here. You bit me one time and I can promise you again, that you'll never bite me again. You bit me the first time, but I ain't gonna give you another chance to bite me again. You did me wrong the first time, I'm not gonna give you a chance to do me wrong again. I gave you your wings the first time, do you think I'm about to give you another, another set of wings so you can fly on me again? Oh no, I was good to you. We was faithful to you, and we was loyal to you, but it wasn't good enough for you. You had to go see for yourself because you thought something else was better for you. You thought something else was good for you. You thought something else was gonna, was gonna, was gonna make you happy, but you realized it was not there, now you wanna come back to me? Oh no. Oh no, we too grown for this. If you didn't love me then, you ain't gonna love me now. If you didn't appreciate me then, you're not gonna appreciate me now. You need to go back where you came from. Cause I'm gonna tell you what my brother and sister, they gonna come back with that, with that, with that sad look. They are gonna come back with them droopy eyes. They're gonna come back and 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 plead the fifth, but you say it was they were sorry, they didn't mean to do it. They're gonna do all that begging, they're gonna do all that crying, they're gonna do all that whining. Don't you fall victim to that. Don't you be a fool and stoop to their level because that is exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to run game on you because they know that you are faithful. They know that you are loyal. They know that you are genuine. They know that you are rare of a kind. They know that you one of a kind, and they know. They know in their hearts and hearts that you will never do them the way that they did you. But I can tell you one thing, my brother and sister. Do not fall victim to that right there. Now they hungry. Now they hurt. Now they lonely. And the moment you give them another chance, and the moment you get another, uh, another opportunity, they be good for a while. Just to get you comfortable. Just to get you in a situation where they know they got you at. In the moment when they feel like everything is going good, the moment they feel like everything is going smooth, they're going to start barking again. They're going to start biting again. They're going to start complaining again. They're going to do everything they did to you the first time. They're going to do it again. That's what the Lord is telling me to tell you right now today. Don't you dare be a fool. 
because everything they said about you, they are eating those words right now. And those words they are eating right now, it ain't tasting too good for them. That's why they are coming back. They said some, some, some nasty things about you. They said some dirty things about you. Now they're, now they're eating those words what they said about you. They feeling, they feeling the same way how, how, they, how, they, how they did you. Now they going through the same thing right now. And right now they need some comfort right now. Right now they need some attention right now. They really don't need you. They just want to be near you right now today. Just to get comfort to you right now. So they can do it again. And they're going to do it again. But nah. My grandma always told me. If you didn't want me then. You don't want me now. You might as well go back where you came from. Where you was bragging. Telling everybody that you was happy at. That you was done with us. That you ain't, you ain't got no dealing with us. That you ain't want to be with us no more. That's how you felt about us then. You feel the way you feel the same way about me about us now. So you might well go where you came from, where you said that you was happy at, where you said that you was peaceful at, where you said that you was loved at, where you said that you had it going on at. What happened? What happened? Please explain that to me. Because that's what you was bragging about. That's what you were telling me about it. So nah, I'm not gonna give you a second a second chance for me, so you can do it again. I'm not gonna bring you back to my life so you can crush my heart again. Oh no, nah, we ain't doing that. If you didn't appreciate me the first time, you ain't gonna appreciate me again. I'm just gonna keep it real because they let me know that you was never real in the first place, that you was never loyal in the first place, that I can never trust you again. Because one thing I can tell you about a dog, when a dog know that his master is treating him right, that dog will never bark, the dog will never bite, the dog will never snap. But when the dog has fleas on him or her, when the dog is a straight dog, when the dog want to wander the world, it don't matter how good you are to that dog, that dog bites you and barking you because it's something on that dog. And that dog trying to find a way to get out of your area. That dog trying to find a way to get, get out of your facility. And when that dog go wander out in the world, it gonna get lost. But he always gonna know where to come back to the master house. And right now that dog is on his way back to your house. Because your house, it was something different about your house from any other house. Your house was special. Your house was genuine. Your house was, was, was love. And that's what they want just for a moment. Then they want to stray back off again. They want to wander into the world again. Don't you dare be that fool, my sisters. Don't you dare be that fool, my brothers. Because that dog did it to you one time, that dog will do it to you again. Because right now, that dog is eating those words right now. It ain't kibbles and bits, neither. And they're not our pole neither. They're eating something that does not taste right to them. They're eating something that is not even digesting in their system right. And right now they're crying to come back to you. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised that you get a call, that you get a pop-up, or somebody say, I'm ready to come back home to you. I'm ready to make this work with you. I'm ready to start over right now. That was my bad. I messed up. I know what I had, but I fumbled it bad. Can you please give me another shot? Can you please give me another chance? If God did not send that person back to you, don't you dare open it. Don't you dare go to the store and buy kibbles and bits. Don't you dare go to the store buy a can of Alpo and try to feed that dog again because once you feed him and start petting them, trying to love him, guess what they're going to do? The same thing again. So you got to be close-minded. You got to ask the Lord, Lord, did you bring this person back to me? And let the Holy Spirit confirm it. If the Holy Spirit does not confirm that the Lord brought that person back to you, you might as well tell that person right now, you might as well go back where you came from because you're not welcome here. If you didn't appreciate me the first time, you ain't going to appreciate me again because we ain't doing that right here. Go back where you came from, where you said that you was better off at. You didn't appreciate me. You didn't love me. You left me for somebody else. Remember? That's what you told everybody. 
You told everybody that you was entertaining somebody else, right? You told everybody that you was talking to somebody else, right? Go continue to entertain that person. Continue to talk to that person. What happened? It didn't work out for you, did it? I guess you, I guess you didn't realize the grass don't, the grass not green on the other side, right? I guess you didn't realize that weapon that you formed on me, you must thought it was going to work. You must thought it was going to be everlasting. But it withered the moment that you got with him. It withered the moment that you got with her. It vanished. Now you're looking for something, and now the only thing you can look for is us? Nah, baby girl. Nah, homeboy. Keep that over there. You can keep rocks, because we don't need it over here in our life anymore. Amen? Amen. So let's read our word today. Let's turn our Bible to Proverbs 26, verse 11. Proverbs 26, verse 11. If you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory, hallelujah. As a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. As a dog returns to his vomit, I mean, that dog is eating his word. That dog is eating everything what he said or she said about you. But the key text and the key word is, so a fool repeats his folly. God is saying, don't you dare be a fool. How they preach, how they did you, it's how they treated you. A zebra never changes his stripes. How they treated you is how they felt about you. How they treated you is how they really felt about you. A zebra never changes his stripes at all. So I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today. But don't you dare be that fool, my sisters. Don't you dare be that fool, my brothers. So you might well keep rocks and keep it over there. Keep it pushing. Because we ain't doing this no more. If you didn't love me then, you ain't gonna love me now. If you didn't appreciate me then, you're not gonna appreciate me now. If I wasn't good enough for you then, I ain't good for you now. How they treat you, you better believe it. You better believe how they treat you. Because a zebra never changes his or her stripes. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know his words for today. But you know God is talking to you. You know that ex trying to come back. You might as well tell him. You might as well tell her right now today. Go and keep rocks. If I wasn't good then, I ain't good now. I'm sorry, but we ain't doing this right here. I'm not going to give you my heart again. I'm not going to give you a piece of me ever again. Because one thing I'm not going to do is play your childish games. We ain't doing that. You bit me one time, but you'll never bite me again. I gave you a set of wings first one time. I never give you another sack of wings. So what, so you can fly off from me again? You must be Tinker Bell. We ain't doing that. I'm sorry, but going back where you came from. Because that's what you told me. That's what you told the world that you was better off at. You said you was entertaining. You said you was talking to somebody. Continue to entertain. Continue to talk. You can leave me out of the situation. I'm good over here. We good over here. Have fun with the rest of your life. I see you, and I wouldn't want to be you. And if you like what you heard today, you know this word for today. Go on and hit Jesus' like button. Go on and hit the subscribe button. Say, Jesus, I need to hear that. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. But I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything got in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving me this LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy mighty name. Amen.